we are close to Toulon, southwest of Toulon, and we are looking for the nude beaches of Plage de Saint Ceylon and Plage de Jonquet. The parking lot is over here, there's a lot of cars, there's some campers, so there's also a possibility to camp here at night. And I'm gonna go down this trail, indicated with a yellow stripe, something with danger, falling rocks. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can find some new beaches. So after one or two hundred meters going down this trail, we end up here at a crossroads. I'm gonna go right because I think the, be the new beaches are more south. So uh, let's see if I'm right and otherwise I'll come back here. Well, change that plan because this trail that I just went into, well, there's a little trail down here. But I'm not gonna try this one first. I'm gonna take the one that people in front of me have been going down. So I am gonna go to the left because by the time I'm down at the beach, I can maybe reach one beach from the first beach. So I think the first one is Plage du Jonquet and then there's also Plage du Boeuf and then the Saint Ceylon. But it's not really clear where one starts and the other ends and whether they are easily connected. So let's uh, see where this trail brings us. It's been well dug out. <laughs> nice. I'm enjoying this so far. <laughs> I always like a little hike before my nude beaches. So let's enjoy this. Okay, so I walked another 100 meters. Air du Boeuf, that's where we parked. It's over there. And then here we can go either to the left or the right. And I am gonna choose to go to the right. And hopefully we get to see the beach from above already a bit. So the trail I'm following now is indicated with blue um, arrows. So what I've done, because there were there was one more crossroad, but there were people there, just like over here. See, you can go down here. There's some kind of a there's some stairs over there, but I'm choosing to take the right whenever I have a chance. Um, although this one <laughs> seems to be uh, interdit au piéton. So this one has been closed, so change of plans. Let's go down this one and see where we end up. All right, you can already see some pedal borders in the, in the water. I've also noticed that this Corniche, which is uh, southwest of Toulon, there's a lot of people mountain biking. There, I even saw the police on mountain bikes, <laughs> mountain bike police, um, and a lot of trail runners, people hiking here. This is really a good area for all kinds of outdoor activities. And then also to go for a swim and maybe even naked. So these stairs that were built once upon a time have been eroded away a little bit, or at least everything around it has been eroded away, but at least they tried. So we're getting close to the water now. Ah, let's take this shortcut and we may end up at one of the beaches pretty soon. Yep, stairs down to the beach. Uh, let's hope we're not going to be filming any people yet. Let's have a look here first. Ah, look, there are some beaches here. And they're not actually, they're very empty. So people, all the people must have gone in that direction because I can only see a couple walking over there. But yeah, as you can see, this area is amazing for nude sunbathing probably. Because it's there's not a lot of people, even though it's the beginning of May at the moment, so during high season it may be a lot busier. But right now it's perfect 
for nude sunbathing and finding a secluded spot. Now let's see where these stairs are gonna bring us. Let's try not to film anyone. All right, this looks nice. Everything is nice here. Wow. But so far all the people from the cars have not been accounted for unless they have gone for a hike and not necessarily for a day at the beach. Um, if I would have to guess, then this would be Plage du Jonquet, Jonquet, with a Q. And then the other one, the saint Celon, would be a bit south from here. Um, then again, I didn't find that name saint Celon on all the maps. Oh yes, there we have the nude beach, wow, nudist paradise, amazing, wow. This is amazing, this is great. Um, Nudists all over the place. We found it. I'm gonna walk to the other end of the beach, not film anyone and uh, report back to you from there. Wow, amazing. Ha. Who would have thought? Well, this is the nude beach of saint Celon du Jonquet. Although I think this is if my, my guess would be that that would be Du Jonquet, maybe this saint Celon. Um, there's written that it's a nude beach on the rocks in a couple of places, just like it's been written down here. So we could actually say that this is an official nude beach. And uh, the naturists, nudists seem to be very adamant about making sure that everybody knows that this is a nude beach. Um, and let's see what's behind door number two. Aha! So maybe there's a plage réservée aux naturistes. Maybe I have to take off my clothes. Um, so maybe this is Plage du saint Celon. Then again, who cares about a name as long as you see in this video where the beaches are. There's a little bit less people here. I see a couple and a single male. And a boat. No, actually there's somebody there at the boat as well. Um, these beaches can also be reached by pedal boarding from uh, over there in the direction of Toulon. You see a lot of pedal boarders here. This beach is pebbles, mostly. Mostly pebbles. There are some sandy parts at the edges. Beautiful backdrop amazing backdrop <laughs> so yeah again you can go for a hike here as well and uh, watch out that uh, naturists don't uh, catch you filming yeah i had to stop filming there for a bit because there were some more people arriving at the beach so um, as you can see very beautiful place new integral so only nude except for when you're arriving then you can still have to wear some clothes um, two beaches, the one behind me with mostly pebbles, a bit of sand. That, these beaches have mostly sand and some pebbles. So again, this would be Plage du Jonquet and the other one around the corner would be Plage du saint Celon. Uh, mostly couples here, well not mostly, I think half of the people are couples seen single females and single males also but mostly couples and uh, it's the beginning of may it's the 9th of may mind you it's 22 degrees it's 10 o'clock in the morning now it's 10 30 by now probably i left the parking lot at 10 probably took me 10 to 5 now 10 minutes to get down here easily indicated so uh yeah so far I'm very excited about this beach and, uh, and when I'm in the area I will definitely visit this one to go for a nude, uh, for a, a nude dive. And uh, I think the other trail that we saw before where it was closed for Pieton, for, um, that's probably because it ends up here. <laughs> the broken stairs. The boulevard of broken stairs. Bon, next beach is at Toulon. It's close to the city, it's actually close to the port. So that's where I'm gonna go next. 
and then uh, continue onwards in northeastern direction all the way to Plage de Pizarel at uh, close to Monaco and document all 14 it's about 14 15 nude beaches that are here on the Côte d'Azur the French Riviera so yeah let's do that see you at the next beaches lovely here <laughs>